Hey guys, so today we are breaking down the AKM and my kind of overall thoughts of this gun and what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Diving into it and getting off started, I really enjoy this gun. Uh, I prefer it over the F car just because of its recoil pattern and the larger mag. Now at longer ranges, this gun does not excel as well as the F car. The F car definitely sits better at that longer range. Now, another thing I like about this gun is that its fire rate is quicker. So it has a larger mag, higher fire rate, and so it sits as a little bit more forgiving than the F car. I really like its recoil pattern. I don't have to start at the feet. I can just aim and go and it's good to go. If that's what kind of what you're looking for and you're just kind of getting into the medium, which I doubt it, the medium is the best class to get into this game with. If you don't like that F car and want another AR, try the AKM. Now the AKM does not have a red dot comparatively to the F car, which I think that's another reason why people gravitate towards that versus, you know, using these irons. Now that'd be kind of nice. Like I've mentioned before, I think it'd be pretty sweet if we could add some attachments to these guns. I think most people would like to have some sort of red dot system added. Maybe that's what they'll add in season three, but we'll see. Now diving into the fall off, this gun does have a decent fall off. It starts at 30 meters and then it maxes off at 37 and a half. So not even within 10 meters, you lose 45% of your damage. So that's just something to be aware of. That's why this can feel plinky at longer ranges comparatively to the F car. Something to be aware of. Now diving into the recoil pattern, like I said, it's a very smooth recoil pattern, which kind of makes a question mark. The hip fire also follows that pattern a little bit and you maximize your hip fire if you're crouching while hip firing. So if you get in a hip fire situation, try to crouch. You're gonna do a little better. Now with, while moving, the hip fire is garbage. As you can see, I mean, I, I get a bullet really high up there, so it's, it's all over the place. So if you can crouch, do that. And then kind of diving into the damage profiles for this. Like I said, 20 to body, 30 for a crit in the headshot. Pretty good overall. I mean, you can delete between less, you can delete within less than a second of light and then up to 1.8 for a heavy. So less than two seconds, you can wipe out any of the classes and you can do that with, within a full mag, you can get, you can get rid of several, several of those classes. So this gun can do a ton of damage, but that damage really flourishes within that less than 30 meter range. Now, even in my gameplay, you can see I'm pelting at longer ranges and doing a decent decent job. But there is one part in my gameplay that you can see at that longer ranges. I'm just plinking the person. Like, I, it doesn't look like I'm doing much at all. So, once again, like I said, this, that's where the gun, I think, can feel kind of crappy. Is that those longer ranges where you're just unloading mags into people and they run off. So, I think that's where people lend to this being a a high TTK kind of gun, but it can have a low TTK if you get up close. So don't don't count this gun out. It's good, I like it. It's probably one of my favorite ARs in this game. I kind of, like I said, I prefer this over the F car due to its recoil pattern, the larger mag. So those are just kind of my overall thoughts of this gun. What do you guys think about this gun? Do you think this is even worth using? Do you think just stick with the F car, get good with F car and just stick with it? Don't even try this gun, but let me know down in the comments, and I hope to guys see you guys out in the finals. You guys have a good one. And that's a wrap.